listening to the All Time Chatter podcast. Welcome to Season 5, Episode 6 of the pod. In today's episode, I have a very special guest and one of my friends joining us in here all the way from Japan. His name is Yoshito Kai. I wanted to record this episode for a really long time and it's finally being published is like a great achievement for me. So in today's episode, Yoshito shares his life story and journey of being a student in the U.S. and then in other countries as well. Also, we'll be talking about Japanese tradition, food, anime, manga, and a lot more. This episode is divided into two parts, so I hope you will love listening to it as, as it gets really funny at the end. And also, I wanted to record this like for over a decade, so I had this on my list. And having a Japanese perspective in here on the pod is really something special to me. So without further ado, let's move forward into this beautiful episode. Hi everybody, welcome to the All Time Chatter Podcast. Today I have a very special guest with me in here. His name is Yoshito and I welcome him in here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Yoshito, nice. please introduce yourself in here. Okay, so I'm Yoshito Kai, 19 years old. And I'm from Japan, I'm still living in Japan. But I have experienced that like study abroad in America and Germany as well. And also I stayed in Filipina a little bit. You know, I mean, I went to so many countries. <laughs> like um, what about, around 15 countries. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I just knew that you went to USA. I didn't know that you went to Germany and these many countries at all. Yeah, I went to Germany when I was in middle school. So like, I guess it was 13 or 14, so like two, during two years. So you went as an exchange student or you went to travel or what? Study abroad, not exchange, just like went by myself. Oh, that's like, nice. Yeah, that's that why so the, the, the educational field is too expensive. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> You probably have so many international friends from these all countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have so, a lot. Yeah, so you are 19. I'm just 20. I thought like you, so you entered into college or you are still into school? Huh? Yeah, I was asking that you are 19 and I'm 20. So you entered into your college or you're still in school right now? Like. In Japan, oh, is it 19? In, in, in like last June, and now I'm trying to apply to college in Japan. Yeah, and then my application is in the summer, like this summer, almost, almost there. I'm so All nice. the best for that. Thank you. <laughs> you know, like I have my friends who are in Kyoto University, but they are doing really? their masters in there. Yeah, like two people I know, and they are studying in Kyoto. And I applied for mixed, uh, there's a scholarship in India, I applied for that uh, this year. But I don't have four years of graduation, so I'll again apply next year because I also want to come to Japan. And it's like one of my oh, favorite yeah. countries. Yeah, I love Japan too. Yeah, I love Japan and Japanese people are like so friendly, so sweet and so polite. So I love the entire <laughs> thing about Japan. You know, like uh -huh. Uji Kaze, I guess I'm spelling his name right. Like a very famous song, uh, Shino no ga Iwa, I guess. You heard it? What is it about? Uh, I don't know, like, uh, you know, there's a very famous song that's going on reels. Uh, it's a Japanese singer and the reels are being made. So I heard that oh. song. It's very famous right now. In India, it's like so famous. Yeah, uh, you know what? Like a lot of some like famous songs from Japan that like people love in these days is like a really old style music in, uh, in Japan so like I guess most of the young people don't know those songs yeah, yeah I mean 
you also don't know i'm like in here if you come in india if you even come people will literally love you but because you are from japan and people are literally yeah. crazy about this song and you don't know about that song <laughs> Yeah. So when I was in、uh, the states, when I was in the states, all, my my, par- my friends also asked me about like those songs, and then yeah, I was even I'm Japanese. I didn't know any of those <laughs> those songs. <laughs> like, yeah, I felt the same feeling as a foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So Yoshito,、uh, let's play a very small game. And the game is basically word association. I didn't tell you about the game, so it's also new to you. Okay. Yeah. So basically, I'll ask you, like, I'll give you one word, and without taking any time, you have to get, you have to say another word for it. Like, suppose if I say Japan, you say anime. Suppose I say、uh, USA,、uh, you say Las Vegas, and you、okay. don't have to take any time, or else you will lose. Okay. So how it、so、goes? Can... I'll do five times of drill with you, and then you can ask me similar questions. We can do it five, five times, and then let's see who wins among us. Oh, hold on. Can you can you explain that? Like the the last word. Yeah. So it's like I'll ask you five sets of、uh, any words, okay? And you have to give me answer very quick in one second only, and then you will ask me some questions. Any word you can ask me, and let's see who wins among us. So it's a challenge. Okay. Ready for it? <laughs> Before we start. Yeah. What? Can you repeat?、Uh, can we do the, like a little practice? Yeah, a practice. Okay. So for practice, I have. Okay, let's start. Practice one. Ocean. Uh, I、fish. guess you're lucky.、Huh? Yeah, you said fish. Yeah, and then I have nature. Um, <laughs> tree, forest, uh, rock, river. Good, you did it. Okay, third is volcano. Huh? Volcano. Volcano. Wait, wait, hold on. I gotta say five words, which is related, or what? What? I'm so confused. Sorry. Okay, okay. Five words, as in you can say any five words related to anything, anything literally. You can say chair, and I can say sit. You can say Japan, I can say anime. Anything, literally. <laughs> Wait. So like, we have a turn. Like,、uh, we switch turns. Yeah.、Time. Yeah. Okay. One more. Okay. So you say something and then I say something and then like you say something. Yes. Say, okay. Now fine. Without taking any time and then let's see who wins among us. Okay. Okay. Prepare okay. some got... words in your mind and I will prepare some minds and then we will start with the game. Okay. Okay. It's、so、just one word, right? Just one word、yeah. each time. Okay. Yeah, ready. So who will start? You or me? You can start. Okay. So I have Statue of Liberty. Manhattan. Good. You can start by saying your. Oh, so so I say something to you. Yeah. Um. McDonald's. French fries. Um, Tokyo Tower. Oshiyage Station, which is this?、Wow. That is station. <laughs> yeah, I heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then again, you say. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs>、um, anime. Manga. I guess it's manga、okay. or manga. I pronounced it wrongly, right?、Um, A Japanese should teach me how to pronounce it. <laughs> manga. Manga. 
Manga. Manga, yeah. Manga. <laughs> I know and, one thing. Konnichiwa. Like, when you speak Japanese, mm-hmm. you don't have so much, so much, like, you know, up and down. Like, you just go straight. Like, oh. Manga. Ichiwa. Manga. Manga. Konnichiwa. <laughs> just like, <laughs> like straight. <laughs> It's so cute. I would love to like learn Japanese. Like still, I'm learning like the basic words, but it's very tough, very tough. So like Japanese people, when when we speak Japanese, we don't use like we don't use mouse that much. Like we don't move our mouse that much. <laughs> here, and like konnichiwa. Like we don't move here. Konnichiwa, that's not our kind of stuff. Only only like a little bit. That's why, like most Japanese are like, facing the dog, hard time to pronounce the other one, like in English. Yeah. How do you say thank you have... in Japanese? Arigato. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so tough. Okay, let me ask one more word for you. Mount Fuji. Uh, Haka, which is always oh, okay. hoax. <laughs> <laughs> he was thinking like what can come out of PG, and then he said, <laughs> "You know, there is a three like aus- auspicious, aus- auspicious, yeah, auspicious word, wor- uh, auspicious thing for the new year, which is Mount Fuji, hoax, and the uh, eggplant. So that's why." I said oh. yeah. yeah. So, uh, like, where do you stay in Japan right now? I'm in Oita, but I was born in Saitama, which is next to Tokyo. Oita is in Kyushu, which is like um, southwest of Japan. Oh, that's cool. Like, are you close to Hiroshima, Nagasaki, and those places? Nagasaki, oh yeah, close to Nagasaki. Like, it's same same group, in the same group with Nagasaki. We, okay. We're in the Kyushu. I have a very interesting and serious question for the podcast for you. So, like, mm-hmm. You went to the U.S., right? And you know what happened in Hiroshima and Nagasaki in the back in 1945. As a Japanese, what are your stance in that issue? Like, right now it's been a lot of years, but what do you think about that thing which happened at that time? Yeah, you know, when I was in the high school in in the states, I also did a like, presentation about the, the atomic bomb. And but like it was a kind of serious topic, and especially there, because we feel different, like different with with the topic. Because for us, it's like a sad and like brutal experience. Mm-hmm. But for them, like uh, people in America, it is like a big victory for them, mm-hmm. you know. And then like they are proud of proud of it because it could end the, the war so like that time was really hard to express my like how I feel or my you know feeling <laughs> then when I was uh, when I did a presentation I was focusing on like how 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 scared or like how so hard to um, like yeah how hard how dangerous that like the bomb is and I didn't talk about which side was correct or not because for me once we had a war like both mm-hmm. sides you know yeah so I didn't want to, I didn't want to talk about like I argue with like which was correct like I, 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 I even didn't want to say Japan was correct or like you guys did some wrong thing because you know it was a war we also killed mm-hmm. some, so many people but like atomic bomb is different like the talking about yeah. that thing is different right so I, I was telling people like how, how sad when we use the atomic bomb is and like how many people we can kill or like how serious situations that we are facing 
you know, like it is really close to having the war with the atomic bombs. You see, right? Since we had a war in a between Russia and Ukraine,、mm -hmm. country are being so serious. So there is a chance that we can use the atomic bomb in the war again. That's why I had to tell、uh, like about that thing. In the prince in in the U.S. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Like for the first time, like I am listening to a typical Japanese person's perspective, and like I have friends who went to Japan, but they are from my country or they are from the U.S. and they went. So their perspective is very different because they never have suffered that thing or their parents have not suffered. But you know, because either your parents, your grandparents, or you guys are the residents up there, so. You know what hardships been through. I visited both Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. So, like, when you went to the states, people treated you differently because you're from Japan, or they were very friendly, gullible with you. Yeah, not just the U.S. Like most of all of the country. Once I said I'm Japanese, they treat us like really good, and then,、yeah. you know, I'm really proud of it because. You know, this is. I think those like nice stuff is relating to like how Japanese acted in those big big cases. Like, for example, the 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 thing that we had in the, you know we had a World Cup in the Qatar, right? Yeah. And Japanese fans like they they like clean enough, uh, uh, clean the stadium, stadium, right? Like. Those movement or those、mm -hmm. acts made, you know, the the world people knowing as 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 a like nice person or like great person, have a great personality, and that's why they treat us really good. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like even like Yoshida, you know, if you come to India any time, like people will literally love you so much in here also, like. <laughs> We really love the K-pop, J-pop, and everything is so famous in here. Even I really love Japanese people, and you know, I used to watch growing up. I don't know if you know this, like in India, there's two famous TV shows, cartoons, Shin Chan, Doraemon. You know about it? Ah,、uh, no, I don't know. Wow, Japanese people don't know about these cartoons, but in India, it's so so famous. Like people literally love Japan because of that. There's one town, Kasukabe, in Japan. Ah, Shinchan. Okay,、oh. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Kasukabe is in the Saitama, which is the prefecture that was born. Oh, that's like how is、oh, like Kasukabe town?、Mm, <laughs> nothing to <laughs> say. Like, you know, there's almost nothing in the Saitama prefecture. Oh my god. And then, so I don't. But like, literally, there is only like shopping mall or some places. But I love, I love that place. You know, it was my childhood. They, they are some of my childhood memories. I love there. But like, cute. A little bit. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> A little bit. Okay, but for us, Kasu Tabe is like this. <laughs> And then、yeah. Takeshi's Castle. There was a very famous TV show, Takeshi's Castle, 2008, 2009. During that time, Takeshi's what? Takeshi's Castle. Maybe you don't know, but in here again, it's very famous. It's also Japanese a reality show, kind of like a game, where you know there were people used to play those games in rea、uh, reality, you know, adventure park or something.、Huh? I don't think in Japan guess, also you would know. Yeah, I guess if I see the the image or something, I think I will know. Okay, after this、uh, video recording, I'll send you everything which is famous in here, and then we can talk <laughs> about it. Yeah, yeah, Shita. So I'll begin with the questions which I have. Like we talked a lot about Japan and all. So now it's about your experience and everything, which I really want to know. And people listening to this podcast definitely love about Japan and want to know your perspective as well. So Yoshito, as like we know that Japan is a mix of pop culture, J-pop, and traditions. Also, like you have those 
strict traditions and everything so has from your childhood has anything influenced you personally because you went to many countries so maybe that culture has also affected you so in japan those cultures affected you or you were not kind of influenced by those mm, i guess so many cultures affect me like well especially i when i was in germany i was living with a monk like japanese buddhist monk that oh. was it yeah so like and also i had so many opportunities to like to feel or experience those like traditional uh in, in like in so many ways like a religious way or um some festivals or so many stuff since i was in both countryside and in city side i moved a lot so like i experienced both side so that's why i could feel so many stuff like i could experience so many stuff and then like since i since i met those uh those stuff like how i treat people is mostly affected by like japanese traditional uh how can i say how can i say i don't know kind of like the customs and teachings that your elders teach you in japan that affects yeah. you and then you treat other people as well mm-hmm. yeah i don't know what to say like <laughs> exactly yeah those circumstances so circumstances made me like how to treat people and then which is nice cuz i wish as i wish most of you know is like how japanese treat others you know yeah. like people so many uh, so uh, like nicely and then, i don't know why but like they grew up we grew up as that <laughs> yeah like yeah like other. you know uh i have heard like you guys a uh, japanese people are like very polite even if they sneeze or cough they will wear masks so that no one yeah. else gets affected by them like wow no one does it in here no one cares they'll just see them go away people are honest they don't steal things in here you just keep your phone away for one second you just turn your phone is gone in one yeah. second it's gone your shit i'm telling you it's on my phone <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it's like this like I heard so many good things. Like I feel like what if every country becomes like Japan? Like people are very kind of they're very conserved in their space and they don't want to hinder anyone else and they're also very polite at the same time, which mostly probably you will see in many countries. Like no one told us about that like like how to you know treat the people or like yeah. those like nice no one told us. But like I don't know. <laughs> it's Japanese spirit or something. <laughs> we, we know. <laughs> Not sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Yoshito, like, when you first landed in the US, and as you said, you went to the other countries, what was your first impression when you first left your country, Japan, and went to those other countries? Um, the first impression is, like, you know, Before I went to the US, I also went to Germany and also some other countries. Mm-hmm. I was really used to being in a different environment. So like for me, mm-hmm. what it was that like big change for me. But since since it was the first time to live in a dorm, like the dorm room. So like it was a big challenge for me cuz yeah. I, I I had to go there. by myself just just by myself and like i had no uh no like relatives in the uh, usa so like i had i i knew no one was yeah. really a lot and, but like since my friends are really really nice <laughs> i could <laughs> shout out so- to your friends yeah <laughs> <laughs> huh? yeah the 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 educational system. I I think I will, we will talk about that system later. But like, yeah, everyone has a different education system. First of all, 
we have to, like as an international student, we、mm-hmm. have to used to be in that like educational system or like what they teach or like what we have to cover, and also like we had we gotta translate the every single word that I know in Japanese to the to the English. Since we have to、yeah. get a like, yeah, and the the biggest one is the food. Yeah, yeah, because you know, in the U.S. Food is not 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 <laughs> not that good, <laughs> not that good. So like, yeah, so like, since I love to eat. It was the biggest trauma for me, and and those are really expensive as well. So、mm-hmm. I couldn't match up the law. I had to eat in the summer. It's really cheap since I couldn't work.、Uh, we we cannot work as a part time job or something since、mm-hmm. I have、uh, so, so, so like since so like I, I wasn't. That rich, so like I couldn't go to the restaurant a lot, a lot. So I had to. I couldn't eat some delicious food, and it was the biggest problem for me. And also like, paper is paper. Paper is also like different for Japanese and Americans. What is it, paper?、Hmm? Uh, what you said? The the like. Uh, favorite or you know, favor, favor, favor. Okay, 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 okay. Got it. Yeah. So also, you know, like you said that managing expensive things and buying things were was difficult for you, and many international people face that issue. And since your experience, what advice would you give to anyone who is moving to the states, coming to Japan, or anyone else? How can they manage the expense? Ah,、uh, <laughs> was a tough question. He's like,、really、don't、tough. make me sad again. It was tough. Because. <laughs> I was really bad at managing. Same. <laughs> It goes with me too. So, like, so once you like travel to some places,、mm-hmm. especially in, in the states, you know, since it's a large country, when we try to do something, we gotta go far, far away. So, like, we have to like search. The, this、um, transportation law, like,、yeah. what is it? How can we make it cheaper? Those like, how to cut the the、um, this、uh, the speed is the I guess most important thing to go in a lot of places. Because sometimes in the U.S. bus will be free, so、mm-hmm. like you can't have the option or. Some train is sometimes it goes really、uh, cheaper, or like in the, the off peak or on peak. <laughs> like we have to search so many things. And how can we can we make cheaper? Or we gotta ask the people who live in there because they know more. They know most.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, and in Japan you guys have bullet trains, so it makes transportation very easier. But in US、yeah. there is no metro, subway, or bullet trains. And transportation, I've heard, it's very expensive. Hell, expensive. And also, like in Japan, it's same. Bullet train, it's it, it's really easy, and go, it goes really fast. But it's so expensive. But, Bullet like, trains are expensive. Yeah. Oh, like, I didn't know about this. <laughs> I thought it's very cheap. Yeah, compared to an airplane, it's cheaper. But like. For example, if you use other transportation, like the bus, or even it is not the bullet train, some train goes really fast. So like we gotta search so many things before we plan.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. See.
So, Yoshito, what was like one of your most hardest obstacles when you were moving countries? Like anything, racism, financially, mentally, feeling homesick, anything it can be. The most hardest and how you dealt with it. Hardest one is like how to switch uh, my mind to Japanese to today, especially, the, especially in the, like when we study. Mm-hmm. You know, I learned so many things in Japanese, not in English. Like, first of all, I gotta like switch my mind to English, and like I gotta <laughs> translate it. Blah 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 blah. And also to understand or like. I was thinking to going back to Japan for uh, uh, in a college, so like I have to mm-hmm. translate this again. Like when I learn something in English, I have to translate this to Japanese. Since yeah. when I come back to uh, Japan, I I gotta know those words in Japanese. It's like this, you know, this. Too many uh, confusion and web. <laughs> this get it. This was so complicated. <laughs> and, Actually, I went there in a COVID pandemic. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I faced the racism because uh, when I was working the the, the street, like some people mm-hmm. uh, screaming like, "Oh, Corona, Corona!" Or something. Mm-hmm. To your country, something like that, or like you know those words and. Most of all, I will just ignore it. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you should. <laughs> once we say, once we say, once I say, like, say something back. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> complicated. So I will yeah. just ignore. Yeah, and like that at that time during the COVID, people like go back to your country. Which country? Like everyone's like go back to your country. <laughs> Like those people also came from somewhere, but they are like go back to your country and just stay in there. Don't come to US, as like they just own it and it's like always the blame game. Yeah, and also like I was, I was from Japan, so like it was sad, but like yeah, you know, like me at a hometown, so like it is not a wrong thing, but like I had so many friends, which is Japanese, but. Born in America and raised in America. Yeah. But like, like those like Americans doesn't know which Japanese are from Japan or from America. So mm-hmm. Like, my, like people also said those words or to to my friends who were from from America and raised in America. I mean, those are they they are Americans, but even though since their blood is Japanese. Like yeah, people say to them, and it was the saddest thing <laughs> that I was part. But you did it. Huh? But you did it, and now yeah. you have like so incredible memories. And his reel is popping up. <laughs> Everything is so famous. <laughs> I'm just in love with that reel. Like I can't forget that reel. It was like one of my favorite of yours. Thank you. I think it was the only reel that I made because <laughs> my yeah, friend asked me. Yeah, and that's also the tag position. So I'm like always checking that reel because it's so so cute. You know, you and and your friend, both of you are looking so cute. Yeah, I guess she's a little famous in the <laughs> country. Yeah. Because ten thousand followers or something. Yeah, I checked that. I also checked her profile and like, yeah, she's famous. And then I'm like, oh, okay. I was so surprised that like that I realized that she was so she got so famous. Uh, famous. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. So Yoshito, can you share a very memorable journey, your experience, or any piece of story with us, like back in the US, and anything that you have with you? Probably have so many good experience as well. Yeah, like it is a good, but like it also has a sad, like you know, the 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 sad face. The thing is, like far away. Okay. Yeah, every time in my in my memory, the far away memory goes like takes so much you know, place in my heart, because 
it is really sad, but it was happy as well, because I can realize how much that those my friends loved me, loved me, or like how much relations I could make in that place. And uh, you know, I uh, I had to move to many places every time I had I had to do the farewell. And every time I cry. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah no, that like, is like I checked your farewell pictures as well. Like, wait, just say some a pop up like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, it's that's very cute. With I all cried your a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I cried most in the in the group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your friends are also so pretty. Yeah, like you know, that time, I'm so sad, but like, I could feel happy. That time. Mm -hmm. So it is one of the most memorable like story. That's cute. Okay. So. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, my next question to you was like a very personal one of like, you have been to so many countries, so much things have been influenced you. So, what are your future aspirations as like, where do you see yourself in five years and where do you want to settle and what do you want to do at that time? So, from, since I was 10 years old, I'm trying to be diplomat, you know, diplomat. Oh yeah. Like the the people, <laughs> yeah. Represent so another. That's why. Country. Yeah, the represent my country. So like that's why, I started to study abroad, like so and be to so many countries. Yeah, and now, I'm trying to apply to college, which is law major, the law, the law major. L A W little yeah law yeah and especially like a uh it, it's a law but like more the uh, political way yeah <laughs> and yeah, I'm studying political science and international relations so like sometimes I I also want to be a diplomat. But right now, I just mm -hmm. want to do my kind of research and PhD in international relations, but not like diplomat for now. But like that was like my one career option. Like I always want to be a yeah. foreign officer, foreign service officer. Yeah, that's why I try. Uh, I decided to go Germany after I graduated. Uh, graduated elementary, elementary, ah, elementary school. <laughs> and the reason why I went, I went to the. Uh, United States is. I wanted to learn the sub third language in the college. That's why I wanted to master English in a col uh, in a high school, and that's why I choose the the America. That's so nice. So and, like you really love traveling. That is why you want to become a diplomat, or other things are also coming up with that. Uh, I love to. I love to go some places that I've never know and also I like to communicate with the people mm -hmm. and first of all I thought I, I saw that job in the TV and oh. uh, it, it was a movie and mainly that was about the chef the uh, chef chef at the embassy okay. but since they're taking the, the movie at the embassy. We also can see the the job of the diplomat, right? And that time I I was interested in uh what what that like how they working with. And th at that time I was in the elementary school. I was ten years old. So I <laughs> first of all I just felt I just felt it looked so fun, and I searched so many stuff and. I, how the world going and I found so many stuff that I wanted to change like as a like as a political way 
So that's why mm-hmm. I decided to, you know, dream about this job. <laughs> that's so cool. Like, probably just by looking and hearing you, it feels like you love traveling, you love talking to people and like getting into their culture. And you're like very friendly. So you, like once a person starts conversation with you, you like keep going and you are not like that like kind of like side-hearted or introvert. You're like kind of like gullible and you love to know people's story and talk about yours too. Yeah, so yeah. I like those kind of people. Like it's so nice to hear people's story and their background. Uh-huh. So Yoshita, also our last question is like one of the biggest one is like, what advice would you like to convey our listeners throughout your experience of your life? Anything, someone who is younger than you, to someone who is older, to someone who is moving overseas, any strong advice from Yoshita Kai? Okay, is it Kai? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kai. Yeah. Kai. Nice. You should read it. <laughs> yeah, it was like Kai. Yeah, my name is Yoshito Kai, and my uh, I have an English name which is Josh. So, Josh. Some people. Josh as well. Yeah. Oh, Josh. Okay. <laughs> I like yeah. Yoshito a lot. It's like Japanese. It's it it just like an anime character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. So, my advice is. Uh, you know, through my life, I tried or challenged so many stuff. Even I could know that I cannot overcome or I can succeed succeed with them. I just tried. <laughs> you know, I just challenged it. And for example, when you go study abroad, so many people are supporting you. You cannot study abroad by yourself. By just by yourself, like so many persons are supporting you, and it, it is not not forced to you, but like it's kind of mission. Like you have to challenge or try yourself to to unknown side of you, <laughs> you know. And then even the challenge, uh, the challenge fold pulse. You can get some like good result or like feedback from the like from the mistake. So like it is worth it, even you couldn't make it, and <laughs> and sometimes even for me, challenge is so scary. <laughs> even for me, even I I went so many countries. It is yeah. so scary. Yeah, but once you overcome. That scaredness, it will make you so much happiness. Like, you know, <laughs> I even cannot explain how how happy I was when I was when I could overcome that scaredness. You know, <laughs> and that challenging makes you your life better. You know, you can make meet more friends, good people. And you can uh, face so much good experience that mostly people cannot uh, cannot even you know experience. Yeah. Can even uh, yeah. So like having the scare is not like bad thing. I, I guess most of people having that feeling. But like the important thing is even if you having the the, the scareness. How to overcome it is mm-hmm. the important thing. And then once you could overcome it, there is a big, big, great happiness for you. <laughs> like, I guess you also had the same feeling. When once you started this like broadcast, you yeah. had some hear it or some scariness, right? But now, like, I saw the the Instagram thing, the the. the the Instagram, and then you did so many jobs, and it was oh, really great. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so like, and also like, uh, I was scared to go in the outside of Japan, but now 
I made it, and then now I'm so I have so many like international friends and also local friends as well. Yeah. <laughs> as well. My, and I could experience so many special great thing. Every time when I talk about what I experience, my friend have been the jealous <laughs> for me. <laughs> <Yeah> . So you know. Uh, For your happiness, you could you have to try. <laughs> you have to challenge some of this stuff. Even you feel that challenge is a little thing, like the challenging is not. It doesn't have to be like big thing. For example, like going outside of Japan or like uh, um, be a doctor. <laughs> it, it doesn't need to be something big, like. Even the little challenge changes yeah. a lot. <laughs> yeah. You know, like listening to you felt like you beautifully presented your words and your experience into simple words so nicely. Like I feel like you're so enriched by your experiences that you're literally happy right now that you had those amazing moments. Like many people don't even get a chance of. Yeah. Going out of their country, making friends, and doing a lot of things. Like I got to know you, and it was like so nice talking to you. I made a new friend. Yeah. I can tell that he's from Japan. Like when I come to Japan, yeah? yeah. I was I was having the fear to post my uh, like the reel, <laughs> but like <laughs> that is my favorite. Yeah, I knew her, and like we were friends. So like, yeah, whatever. Like you know. And also, I wanted to do, so I just did it, and then now we could make it, you know. <laughs> yeah, we, we could, could also it. make it. Yeah. So you know, like so many things. Like now, uh, once I come to Japan, I would like to meet you, and like I would like to do yeah, other. Yeah. Maybe in two years, three years, we can do an updated podcast. And you know, your experience have like been like so nice. You know, I have so I have a lot of guests in my podcast, but. Many people are very big than me. They're like twenty six, twenty seven. I'm twenty. You are ninety. I meet very few people of my age range. You know, like we can connect, but I cannot connect to someone who's really bigger than me. So, like, I was always so like once I texted you, you know, honestly, I was just thinking, what to ask him? Like, he's so he's like been to US, and now it means he has an immersive experience. So I'm like he may be enlightened, philosophical, and have a good thoughts on a lot of topics. So I really genuinely feel like you're such an honest and cool person to talk to. Like I just hope that in future you have all the good things to you. Like be it in your college, you get into a good college in Japan, and you become a foreign service officer, diplomat, and it would be so cool to see you succeeding because I meet very few people like you, you know. And it was always like on my. Top list of podcasts that I really want to have a Japanese person in here. I had one of my guests. I told you about her. I guess Adele Collet. I had her, and she was from US. She went to Japan, and she also told me about her experience. That Japanese people are next level people. Like they're so so nice. That your entire mindset will be just so nice. So recording、Thank、this made me so happy with you. Yeah, you know. I live through my life only with my communication skill, communication skill, and the luck. So <laughs> and yeah, nothing else. And you communicate skill, so nicely, and you know your accent, like Japanese accent, is so so cute. Like you come, the way you talk, like when Korean Japanese people talk, their accent comes out so cute in English, and I just love it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. and also yeah. You know, I wanted to say、uh, say one thing. Yeah. Many once people start to learn the, the language, like for example English,、mm-hmm. they're scared to speak because because of their language,、uh, the the accent. But when I was in the, the America, I I also I was in the high school, but I also took the the college course, and、uh, that time my professor was from India. Oh. And, Yeah, and and then like her pronunciation wasn't wasn't that good, <laughs> wasn't、yeah. that good. But however, she could teach, like she could work in America, and then even 
like、yeah. she was in the she was in the college and then teaching people the the stuff. So like that, and also I was in the international school and met up. Many、uh, people came to the school from like all over the world, and we could make a communication. You know, so like the pronunciation, of course, pronunciation is a really big deal. We have to improve our, our pronunciation, but <laughs> it is not a biggest thing. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Yeah, like always,、so、I also believe in the luck factor. Like, if you have something written in your destiny, it will happen to you, no matter if you try for it or not. It will just happen, and you cannot imagine that it happened so suddenly in your life. Yeah, and also like my grammar, it's like awful. <laughs> my grammar <laughs> is awful every time I have a mistake. Even though, even though I could live through the high school life in America for three years, so. <laughs> But your pronunciation and everything is so good. Like I don't have any problem understanding your language, and the way you speak is English is also correct. Like I have zero problem. But once, once we make a subtitle, it's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, subtitles so, for the like, YouTube videos. Please, please don't put the subtitle. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, so you don't have to. Fear. You have to have a fear to like speaking the language perfectly. You know, even if it's not perfect, we can live through. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, Yoshita. Also, any last words you have in here for the podcast? Ah,、uh, last word. Last word. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. We said so many words. What is the last word?、Uh... <laughs> First of all, thank you for inviting me <laughs> to this. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I'm. I'm so proud of myself that I. I could, you know, show up in this broadcast, <laughs> and oh, please, please visit Japan. <laughs> Please. I will definitely. We'll make a video together that time. Yeah, and then you know, not just you, but all of the country from <laughs> the all of country is visit them. Japan is a great country. We have great tradition, uh, like culture wise, and also like we have great festivals, food. I love the food. Did you know that? You know that Michelin, the the star, the the restaurant star. Uh, no, like I know about like、uh, like I'm a vegetarian, but I know like sushi, fish things. Everything is so famous in Japan. Like it tastes so nice. Ramen, Japanese ramen, it's so good. There is like a company that is、uh, that is rating the the restaurant all over the world, and、oh. it is already. Originally from is the the, the city the most at、uh, most Michelin star. The second place is Paris, and then the Paris have like an around when I was when I searched Paris has like an around hundred stars, and Tokyo had two hundred stars more than two hundred、oh. stars. <laughs> so nice. Japanese food, amazing. Everyone have to try. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I also like the.、Uh, I also love the Indian food. I love the tiki. You、masala. come to my home. You come to my country. I will give you the free tour and the best food in my home. It's very tasty. <laughs> like whatever you want、yeah. to try, you just call me up that you're coming to India. Maybe in the future. Maybe this year. I will give you a tour. I promise you. Okay. I will give you. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>、yeah. <laughs> and the great festivals well in here. You know, we love to have a festival. It's、so, like we have festival in so many places. Yeah, you guys have cherry、yeah. blossom festivals and many things. We have a lot of festivals in India also. Yeah, and like you know, Japan is an island country, right?、Like, like、island country. So because of that, we have really like special, unique tradition, and then the the those. 
culture will change with the with each island. We have like.、Uh, 